This morning we have chosen our house champagne, in fact the step up from the house champagne, Paul Gerg, which is a Blonde de Blanc and one of our best sellers. It's from the village of Vertu in the heart of the Côte de Blanc region just outside Epinay. So it's 100% Chardonnay and it's really the epitome of what uh, Blonde de Blanc champagne should be all about. You know, you can, you can smell it, those lovely white peachy sort of fruit characteristics, absolutely stone fruits. It's a four-year-old wine, so it's got this sort of um, complexity of a little bit of age. And also it's made by the um, ex-winemaker of Rouenard, Jean-Philippe Moulin. I think it's, it's lovely. Here we are, we've got the 2017 Putief Puy Fumé. This wine has the most expressive nose, gunflint, and it's so fresh, so intense, and so very delicious. For me, I think it just expresses everything that Good House does. Uh, Catherine Petrie, who's just got her Master of Wine, she wrote her thesis on the Loire Valley. She found this grower, sourced it, nobody really knew about them, and it's a new up-and-coming domain. And I think it's just what we're looking for from the Sauvignon Blanc grape variety and Puy Fumé. This is uh, our Good House and Company Bourgogne Chardonnay 2015. Yeah, this is a wine that's really close to my heart because what we wanted was to make a white burgundy that really reflected the heart and the essence of the Côte de Beaune and Chardonnay. So we approached Jean-Philippe Fiché, one of the great winemakers in Merceau, um, to create this wine for us. And he's used fruit from both Chassin Morachet and Merceau, and also some fruit from the Côte Chalonnaise. One of our best-selling wines and very good value um, at sort of 15 pounds a bottle. Exactly, um, you feel as if you're drinking Merceau, but not mm. at Merceau prices. I love it. Good. Delicious.